United Airlines apologizes for strapping man to roof of plane due to oversold flight. Louisville, Kentucky, United Airlines attempted an apology for what seems to be just another example of the airlines trying to correct an oversold flight as a passenger was forcibly removed from his seat and strapped to the roof of the plane for the duration of the flight. We reserve the right to strap any of our passengers to the wings, underbelly, or roof of the plane under any given circumstance. Nevertheless, we are sorry, said United Airlines Vice President Mike Gotthard, adding that the passenger was strapped on safely and securely. We reserve the right to strap any of our passengers to the wings, underbelly, or roof of the plane under any circumstance. Nevertheless, we are sorry. Unified Airlines is no stranger to controversy. Just last year they came under fire for various wrongdoings such as, randomly taking away seat belts, removing passengers mid-flight, and forcing passengers to use mandatory catheters in lieu of bathrooms. While we are not perfect, we strive to be. That is why we are issuing a $50 voucher to the passenger affected, said Gotthard proudly. While the airline is not expected to strap anyone other passengers to a plane's exterior anytime soon, it's certainly a possibility. 88 responses to United Airlines apologizes for strapping man to roof of plane due to oversold flight. John Boy Walnut I fly United Airlines every chance I get. The service is second to none and the views are out of this world. Joseph.C. Barrera a IP out all seats. Passengers seated on floor. Or prone and stack them to ceiling. Passengers are sheep these days. Who can only whip out their phones. Eddie Ma. The best satire I have ever read. Sadly too close to reality. D. Anderson. Bringing new meaning to get on the plane. Scott. I can empathize. They made me sit in a seat where the guy in front of me would crush my legs. Gary V. At first I thought this was just a joke, but after I had the photo blown up at the U of Minnesota, we believe the picture and the photo is real, with just the airline's name air brushed out. Terry. This outside delivery should be reserved for women having hot flashes as the temperature will be just right for them with added feature of getting a sun down at the same time. Nick. Fly Delta, which means don't even let them aboard. Sharon Robertson. Gee, sometimes I don't know whether it's a joke or the truth. Lol. Darwin. Was he able to get drinks up there? See Stephen Baldwin. And you thought Romney was heartless. Suzanne. This has to be a belated April Fool's joke. Ron. Is this first class? Bill Prescott. They could have offered him on flight peanuts. Larry Pierce. Oh yes, we're sorry that your luggage was lost. JT. That is stupid you should never do that to anybody. United Airlines should be sued for that. Joe. Looks like the problem was solved. I mean, after all, Louisville is such hot destination. John Hansen. Brilliant. I wonder dot dot if they're not listening. Jean. Yeah right. Lol. Jean Lackey. Fifty dollars are you kidding me? I would be flying free whenever I boarded one of their flights until I never flew with them again. That is outrageous. Slayon. In fact United Airlines has a whole, henceforth under mentioned bondage class where for a reasonable fee they will bundle you up in the cargo hold complete with complimentary ball gag and leg restraints. Patty. OMG you are brilliant. Bajibus. Outrageous. Did he get a free meal? Marty Power. For the record, airlines only strap passengers to the wings when there is an even number of overbookings. This is, of course, to maintain weight balance. Brenda Boss. To ooh -oo darn funny. Hope Gentis. Lama. Willie and CHCH. Next thing you know, they will be making use of the spare engine pylon to put a couple of spare seats on. Because of the exposure to the wind and possibly rain, I would expect at least $75 compensation. 
Julie then. Very funny. Jerry Clements. I hope they gave him an oxygen mask if they were flying at an altitude that he would have had trouble breathing in. But I guess they would have charged him extra for that. Todd. I rather have taken the $800 in cash, but then again I bet he had some wonderful views. Judith L. DeMarco. Oh give me a break. Jane. No you didn't. Lama. Terence Yang. Romney Air. Not just for dogs. Donna. Lama what a great spoof. Pam. Did they at least dress the passenger in warm clothes? It can get pretty cold at 40,000 feet. I know because I get cold up there and I'm inside the plane. I know I won't be flying Unified Airlines. Nick? That's disgusting that they only gave me a $50 voucher. Cynthia Ketcherly. Oh I smell lawsuit. Joanne. Bwahahaha. Thomas Fox. They should be fined heavily they charge enough for tickets. It seems. Passengers are losing more and more rights. If I was on the regulations BD. For every major screw up like this I would make them ground all flights for a day. These are people not animals. Catherine Lewis. I thoroughly enjoyed reading your most informative news article and have a question. My husband and I are planning a trip to Hawaii in May and we are wondering which one of the places you mentioned strapping passengers would offer the best view of the ocean. We realize the position would have to be under the plane, but is it better under a wing or under the actual fuselage? Perhaps you can clear this up for us since our trip is scheduled for late May. We have already purchased our first class tickets, but don't let that bother you since you are so good at overbooking. We are prepared to volunteer for the strapping. We have crash suits and helmets so no worries there. Do we need to bring our oxygen tanks or are those furnished? Aloha. Ashley and Fred Ashbanger. Randy. This is hilarious. Cyrus Lesser. The friendly skies are on the outside. Rosemary Hislop. Can this be true? I find it very hard to believe that the passenger could survive the temperature on the roof. Elsa. Love it. Gerilyn. Lol. Chandra. Absurd. Michael L. That is ridiculously funny. Judy Hinman. United has had terrible press lately. I don't fly often, but when I do, I will not fly United under any circumstances. I can't believe they strapped a passenger to the top of the plane. Why don't they strap one of the flight attendants or United workers to the top of a plane so they can see firsthand what it's like? Hartman. Too bad Western Airlines is not around anymore. They used to seat passengers outside in front of the tail section and serve them champagne. Paul Ducastel MD. Godard and his airline should be in jail. On the wings, on the underbelly. What ignorance and what arrogance. He is pathological and a killer with no remorse. Fifty dollars compensation? We have become lab rats to the one percent. I will never fly United again or its affiliates. I prefer the bus at least you are with real people. Or a slow boat to wherever. Nell Rose. LOL. Now that made me laugh. Why? Fred Stooge. It's nice to know that United uses a strap-on. Rebecca. Oh so love this. Nothing says humor like sarcasm. Tony. LMFAO. Suvors. Ha. 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 That is funny. Diana Fox. Ha ha ha. Richard Rosario. Hi, are you guys into the circus business or some sort of entertainment? Is that an appropriate excuse for overbooking? Can the CEO of your airline perform in one of your antics of being strapped onto a plane? Let us check him after a flight. Good luck. Edith. Just do not use this airline. Mary MCV. Surely, this cannot be true. I cannot believe any airline would go this far to correct what would have been deliberate overselling of seats on any flight. Beverly Thomas. United Airlines is out of their freaking minds. 
How would they like to be strapped to the exterior of the plane? There is no way I would allow them to do that to me. They would be looking at a big ass lawsuit. People need to boycott United Airlines. Hit them where it really hurts, in their pockets. Maybe then they will change the way they do things. Genie. Do you charge extra for your out of the box humor? Martina Bowl does I. Best article so far. Special mention to removing passengers mid-flight. Lol. Angie Freshwater. If you have so many passengers on a flight, invest some of your profit money into getting more airplanes, so this doesn't happen again. Gloria Myers. Fifty dollars wouldn't even touch an apology. I would never get on one of their flights. There certainly would be other options. Ron Sandberg. You better change your slogan from fly the friendly skies to something else. Deborah. April Fools. Jens. Ha ha very funny, anyone out there will die above 25,000 feet of oxygen starvation and freeze to death as the temperature is 60 C at 40.000 feet where this plane will cruise for 6-9 hours. Pat Millam. This is hilarious. Kathleen Weber. In the event of a plane crash what is the passenger strapped to the outside of a plane supposed to do? I believe the airlines are opening themselves up for lawsuits. Danum 68. Bullshit. People can't breathe that high up. Wild Billy. That's what he gets for flying unified airlines. Arthur. Forgive me but that man must be four. Meters tall, there's no other way for him to fly. Soraya. This is so fabulously funny. Thank you so much for your humor, in light of a very unethical situation. Bob Payne. Tee hee hee. Grammar. Hi ha. Love it. Pam. Reminder, I will never fly United ever the so you ain't professional, I have traveled all over the world never experienced anything like this dot dot g only in America. Patricia. I would not be surprised if they did. Laverne. Only fifty dollars. It should have been another full price ticket to anywhere he wanted to go. Or more. I can't imagine how that passenger had to feel and how embarrassing he felt. To be treated like that dragging him out for everyone to see like some criminal or animal. And they only offer him fifty dollars. Bill. Laughing my ass off rolling on floor pissing in my pants. George. Just so ya know this post got posted everywhere on Facebook the airlines can apologize all they want but it goes to show that airlines will do whatever they want and more people see that they won't want to fly on your airlines. Bobby Markin. Wouldn't work for me dot dot I'm a side sleeper. Linda Ward. Wouldn't the lack of oxygen kill? Bud Long. What they should do is let one of the extra people fly the plane. This way the pilot will take a break and have to deal with this shit. Reply. John Ashman. It's right in the fine print people, WTF do you expect? Whiners. Reply. Susie Mayberry. OMG, this is hilarious. Lulu the part about the mandatory catheters. The end. Please like this video. Share it and. Subscribe.